Welcome back everybody. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at Breaking the Flaw, the clown frauditor that I absolutely destroyed on live radio as he got arrested yet again. I guess he must have been inspired by his two buddies who got arrested a couple weeks ago. So first we'll take a look at the brand new arrest with Breaking the Flaw and then we'll take a look at his buddies getting arrested because I haven't covered it on the channel yet. Without further ado, enjoy the video. Uh, no, we're here for just... Oh, there we go. There we go. Doing all right? I think I got to focus. It's not for me today. Yeah, I'm fine. It's for... Well, the, the town is the defendants. In this case, in my opinion. Actually, uh, he's with his attorney. So if you want to hang out, you can. Or... Well, this... I Hillsborough mean, was corrupt as fuck because of what well, they did to I'm him. Not into that well, it's either. true. You know it's true. You know that. Terrorists, really. Yo. I'm gonna fill up the form real quick. How's it How's it good? He wants to drop him down to a civil violation on both cases. Fuck that bullshit. How can I help you? Terrorists. Uh, can I get a form to record in the court, please? Yeah, let me see if I can find it. Thank you. The notification form. Thank you very much. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it quick. It's gonna be all day. Anonymous. Signature. What's the date today? The so for those not familiar with this clown, his name is Joseph, and he's basically one of the worst frauditor when it comes to subscribers and performance and how long he's been doing it. So he's been posting videos for eight years, and he hasn't even broke thirty thousand subscribers. And he has the most ridiculous e-begging links in his bio. There's Cash App, there's PayPal, Venmo, Zelle, Bitcoins. The guy is begging for money left and right. He is basically the definition of a failure because he cannot even succeed at frauding. Six. Six. Audio video with the cell phone. There you go. And if I could get a copy too and uh, stamped, if you could. Thank you very much. You gotta read the bottom. That, ha, no. Thank you. Did they just deny me on this? I'm gonna still do it because I have the right. I just notified you. Now, everybody knows that you cannot record in a courthouse. Some courthouses allow it, but you can definitely not record in a courtroom if you're not pre-authorized by the judge. Now, his two dumbass friends got arrested twice for that exact same charge, but I guess he didn't learn from their mistakes and he wants to test his luck. That's right. I have the right. This is a shall issue, and I do not have to give my name to get to exercise my rights. No, I have the right. All right, Judge. I. Judge, this is judge, wrong. I have a shall issue. You're shall issue. Right. You're when they're done, you can get your phone. No. Move. When they're done, you Move. can grab your phone. Move. This is wrong. I've done this Don't multiple times. Don't touch me. You know I've done this. Move away from my camera. They're done. to my camera. They're done, and that situation is done. Then you can grab your phone. Shut your mouth. Shut your fucking mouth. Piece of shit. I'll get it for you. See this fucking Where bullshit? This See the bullshit? They hate transparency, dude. They hate it. Mark, is this his phone? 
Me neither. Okay. All right. Yeah. Right behind you, brother. Is this your phone? It is my phone. Okay. So. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is the definition of fuck around and find out. But don't go anywhere because there's a lot more. We're going to take a look at his reaction after he got released from jail. And the guy was crying like a complete snowflake. Also, we'll take a look at his two buddies getting arrested a couple weeks ago. Hey guys, I got some breaking news for you. The Hillsboro terrorist group known as the Hillsboro PD arrested me in court because the judge denied my right to record. And I'm like, I don't care. It's a shall issue. I just notified the court. That's my job. I notified the court. They can't approve or deny nothing. It's either you uh, of respect my rights or you don't. And it seems like they did not respect my rights today. So they criminally trespassed me, arrested me. And then they also got me for disorderly conduct, which is all bullshit. So they can say whatever they want. They can do whatever they want. But guys, this is crazy. Remember how I cleared up my parking ticket in Keene? You know what they did? Yeah, I cleared that shit up. You know what they did? They suspended my license for that. And they're telling me here at the, the terrorist Hillsboro PD that I did not take care of that. They're liars. I've, I've proven this over and over again. They didn't even drop the suspended license charge, yet they're still trying to violate my rights and make me pay for it, which I did. I did pay for it, and they're still saying I didn't pay for it, which is on video on my channel. I paid with piggies, shaped uh, folded up an origami and y'all y'all saw that y'all remember seeing that now these game these people are playing games the DMV is playing games they suspended my license not once not twice not three times now it's four times wrongfully wrongfully well this is crazy guys these these they're gaslighting me at the police station and all this other stuff it's just they were nasty nasty people and do not call the Hillsboro PD and redress your grievances unless you want to see what he's trying to do right now is he's trying to organize a call flooding campaign like Mark Manchon and all the frauditors and I would say that he's at risk of getting arrested because Mark Manchon has been arrested for that but the thing is that nobody watches his videos so nobody's going to call anyways. This guy gets maybe 100, 200 views per video. It's really sad, actually, when you think about it, especially considering he's been at it for eight years. And what really makes this even more ridiculous is that he's willing to fraud it, to commit crimes, to get arrested, to harass people for pennies, literally pennies. There is no way this guy gets a paycheck from YouTube every month. Maybe every couple months he'll get $100, but there is no way that he's actually making a living off this. And that's why he has all these e-bagging links in his about section. Now let's take a look at the arrest of his buddies. That was a couple weeks ago. I'm calling the clerk. Call the clerk. Does the clerk want to come down here and talk to you? That's why. Call him. Well, I'm telling you right now, you're not getting past this point. What if it changes? What if she says, yeah, you're allowed to? You're going to like go, oh, okay, go ahead, sir. Are you, are you sticking to your words? It's going to go through one ear out the other with the clerk? Who the hell are you? I don't answer questions. I'm not. I, hey, say, sir. Hey, sir. No, no, you work for me. You work for me. I'm the one, and, I'm the one asking questions here. I'm the one asking questions. You're, you're, being, dis, uh, you're being disorderly, sir. You're not, ask, you're not answering my questions. I don't have to answer your questions. No one's got to answer your questions. You know that, right? You were arrested last time. Why are we not being arrested now? You don't know? Why don't you just move over here? Hey, why don't you move over there? You go move over there. Move me. Hey, do your job. Do your job. Move me. All I can tell you guys, and I'm just going to leave it at this. Respect my personal space. You're about to catch COVID from me. It's kind of gross. Oh, there goes those proteins. <laughs> the guy with the long hair, that's a moron by the name of Footloose. And he's best described as the village idiot. He really can't handle himself. He was on trial not too long ago. I covered it. 
and he made a complete fool out of himself. He was going off like a complete savage. I think at this point, the best thing for him would be a mental asylum and a straight jacket. Well, guess what? It's my life. So yeah, you make your own choices. And you're making a choice here today to violate people's rights. You're making that choice too, just like the vaccine. Yeah. But you got to understand my rule and what I have. No, I, I get it. I get it. You got to understand that. I do, I do. Yeah, and I and believe if you that. You got to understand that. Guess what? We ain't going nowhere. I just believe that your methods and your training has been lacking. That's your truth. That's well, your I mean, it's showing now. As an educated citizen, I am, I am telling you that you're very uneducated with the law. I guess you said I'm not educated. No, I believe you're not. Yeah, your vest, your badge doesn't see me in anything. I, hey, they literally hire cops because they have lower IQ than the rest of the people because they can't be smart and take these positions. Well, guess what? You ain't getting past this point. I'm not, I didn't ask. I didn't ask. You ain't getting past this point. That's all I can I never asked. And you, you such a smart guy. Thank you. That's the smartest thing you've said all day. Why would you need to have a phone to record all that? Well, now I have it on record, right? Well, you keep it on record. I don't care. Okay, well, then, then don't worry. So I'm going to fast forward a little bit because this video is extremely long and I know you don't have all night, but you're going to see in the corner a very creepy lurking figure. And that is actually Mark Manchon from Press NH. Now, he doesn't want to get arrested today. So he decided not to record because he knows that his buddies are about to get arrested at any moment. And he doesn't want to take that arrest because he has enough on his plate. But that doesn't mean he's innocent. This guy is definitely one of the most arrogant, smug frauditor in the entire roster. No one's told us to leave. No, because they can't. So if they pounce on us, they're going to be without warning. It's over. Boom. Out the door. They can't. Hey, Sui Juris, Thompson, 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 Thompson. Can I show you something? Thompson. This, this is uh, right here. Pro se litigants and others may extend similar privileges upon application to the clerk of the court and show of good cause for a particular need for an exception. And this is the exceptions regarding photography. That's exactly what he's quoting, and it's right here in our face. And you're not going to do anything about it. You're not going to follow the rule. I'm following the judge's rule. <laughs> this is, hey, the judge's rules could be unconstitutional and you could be, uh, you know, losing your qualified immunity right now because you said you're well trained, right? You're a well trained officer. No, qualified immunity is gone. I'm not going to listen to no more Because your qualified immunity is gone. If it's gone, it's gone. It is. Rules right here. Rules right there. You're in violation of your own rules. I don't need you to tell me anything, sir. I know the law. Are you going to try to hide the rules now? Hide it. You are ripped up a picture of it. <laughs> They're going to hide it. You got it all on your phone. Do you have it memorized? Do you have these rules memorized? Do you? I just read them. I have them fresh in my mind. Well, you're assuming that you know it all, and you haven't even read it, and you're enforcing things you don't even know. So we need to go along with this game, this charade. That's your opinion, It's not an opinion. The rules are right there. Even if the rules are right there, frauditors cannot understand rules or laws or policies or anything, how to take a shower, how to groom themselves. They have no clue what they're doing. And that's why they are a complete laughing stock. They're basically lol cows like DSP and all the other ones. Everybody's laughing at them. The entire world knows that they're a joke, but they're not in on it. Now let's get to the arrest. It's time to whip out some handcuffs. Says we're allowed to do. There you go, guys. It's gonna arrest Frank right now. What is it? Why? For disorderly conduct and failure to comply with what? Lawful order. What is lawful order? There was a whole bunch of them. There was a whole bunch of them. Okay. My God. So I'm being arrested for a lawful order. Again? Second time? Come on. What? You arrested me last time. 
No, I'm not helping you do any of your job, man. Alright, let me just turn this off. So, real quick, I'm being arrested, right? Okay, so what am I being arrested for? I just want to get some. They're fine. Are they double locked? Can you tell me what I'm being arrested for? Okay, so why don't you bring us outside? Because if you bypass security. Well, you're gonna, so you're going to bypass security again? You have to search us. So you're going to bypass and breach security again? No, I'm protesting my arrest. You're arresting me on some bullshit. I'm going to take this out. I don't give a fuck if I'm giving you a headache. Oh. Okay, so you're gonna psych me Penguin, just move over. I told you guys, bringing us behind security last time was a breach of your own security. All right, guys. Uh, I'm guessing that pointer was uh, what? No, that pointer is. You're going out. with two. I'm going with two? Yes. Why? You never asked me to leave? <laughs> I have on record you never asked me to leave, so if you're telling me to leave, I'll leave. Okay, there you go. Penguin, he's telling you to leave. Penguin, come on. Hey, Penguin, I get the keys. Can you give me keys? And keys? Uh, yeah. I mean, I presume they're going to release me in. So yep. Just, yep. I'm going to go bring it to the car now. Penguin's being arrested right now, guys. Sorry. Hard to see in the... With the... Um, Yes. They released me. There you go. Good. Good. I, we didn't I, want that. I explained to them that Here, leaving slowly this. is leaving. So there you have it. As promised, three frauditors arrested in one video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Turn on all notifications. I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next one. I live here.